My name's Christina, and I'm a bulimic, I'm a compulsive overeater, and I am an addict. I picked up a little disease called bulimia. I got tired of not eating, so I figured out how cool it was to eat everything that I wanted and not gain a damn pound. All I had to do was throw it all up when I was done. My childhood, I wouldn't say it was very different from everyone else's, but I was definitely, came from a broken home. My dad left, like I said, when I was very young. If someone who was so close to me could leave me, that people who aren't close to me would leave me. So it was hard for me to open up and let people get close to me, give them that chance to hurt me. It became a coping with my dad, coping with my family. I used to eat a lot when I was a kid. It was difficult for me to try and fit in with other girls and I think that's how I began my whole trip on not liking myself because I didn't think anybody else around me would like me. Me and Christina became friends about like four or five years ago. We met when I was an alumni um, and she was a senior and we kind of hit it off right from the beginning. There was just this instantaneous thing of like, I really want to know this girl and spend time with her. She's been there for me through thick and thin and I, there's no one in my life that I trust more than her. She started dieting with Leslie, her friend, and they worked out together and it was fun in the beginning. Going to the gym, like you start feeling so much better about yourself and the next thing I knew, I was going to the gym five, six, sometimes seven days a week for almost two hours at a time. I was losing weight and I was losing it fast and then when it would start to slow down, it would, I would get frustrated with myself. The switch was turned on and she became a different person. If she missed a day, she just beat herself up for it. It was so strange and I'd say, Christina, it's one day. I was pretty much only eating fruit and rice cakes for a couple months. One day I just broke down and I couldn't take it anymore and I just started eating and eating and eating and I couldn't stop. And by the end of it, I just felt so disgusting. I, I just had a moment and I threw it all up and I had my head in the toilet for about 30 minutes and it was painful and I thought well you know maybe this isn't a bad thing I was like maybe I can get I was like maybe I can get away with this every once in a while I would eat and I would and I would binge and I would purge and it just and it, and it felt good her skin got yellow and her eyes got sunken in and she just looked sick. It, it literally got to the point where it took over my life. I felt like I couldn't survive without eating and throwing up. It, just, it, it became like a normal thing to me. There was a gallon of chocolate ice cream in the fridge and I don't even like chocolate ice cream and I ate the entire thing. So I went to the bathroom and I was trying to throw up again and I was using my fingers and it wouldn't work. So I started looking around the bathroom and I found a toothbrush and so I took that and I stuck it as far down my throat as I could until my toilet was nothing but chocolate ice cream. After a while like you get used to that feeling and it doesn't feel good anymore so I just kept going. So I figured well if once doesn't work maybe I just need to do it again. So I started thinking maybe it's not the fact that I'm eating or what I'm doing. I thought maybe it was the way I'm doing it. So I upgraded from my fingers to my toothbrush to my hairbrush. One time I actually even used a toilet paper roll <laughs> to make myself throw up. And no matter how much it hurt, it just didn't feel good anymore. But I couldn't find any other way to make myself feel the way that I wanted to feel. And I just, I couldn't live with it anymore. She had gone to work. We had hung out earlier in the day. Her mom got this call and it was, you know, and she was just crying. And I told them, I was like, you guys, I'm anorexic and I'm bulimic and I need your help. I mean, Christina went in her room and she said, I have something to show you. I had showed her journals that I'd been writing for the last few months. She read through all of them and it was really hard for me to do that because there are some things in there that I had never wanted anybody to hear. It was frightening. It was frightening to see these journals because it wasn't Christina. We sat there and we just, we talked it all out. So I just kept saying, you're a great person, you're a great person, you're wonderful. And if somebody can't see it, then they're not worth it. And I have to take the steps for myself to grow and, and learn to love myself and appreciate myself. And it's not gonna happen overnight and it's not gonna happen anytime soon but I'm just looking forward to that day.